Body camera video has Indian River County's sheriff saying it appears to justify his deputy's actions, but a group of civil rights activists say there's nothing in the video that justifies law enforcement's action. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman is live in Gifford where that shooting took place. Dave. Honey, Jamal Frederick was a passenger in a car that was pulled over at this intersection. Deputies say that he actually, instead of complying with their orders, he grabbed a gun and then ran through this field and was shot at several times right in front of this home. He then went around the home, was later, after he was shot several times, was later picked up by canine dogs and he was placed under arrest but brought to the hospital. Now, the sheriff says none of this would have happened if Jamal Frederick simply followed deputies' orders and surrendered at the time of the arrest. Hey. You hear me? I'm going to open this door. You keep your hands out the window. This is where deputies say Jamal Frederick created danger and was later shot several times. Indian River County Sheriff Eric Flowers says deputies pulled over the car Frederick was riding in after a report of shots fired in a nearby neighborhood. They were looking for this vehicle. They knew that it was a suspect vehicle in weapons and in burglary. But when we showed the video to Indian River County and NAACP Chair Tony Brown and two leading pastors, they had a different take. He was a suspect and he was running away. You shot indiscriminately and to my community, you endangered the lives of my people. Brown then brought us to the scene of the first volley of shots where a home under construction has more than 20 holes from what he believes are bullets fired by deputies that missed their target. The elevation, because of the height of this high and where they were shooting from, you, those bullets would be about chest high on me and you. Deputies have not said how many bullets struck Jamal Frederick. Hey, Sheriff Flowers says there's nothing door. in his deputy's body camera video that shows a fleeing Frederick pointing a gun at deputies chasing him. The sheriff says we should question why Frederick grabbed a gun before he fled. Why did he need to take that gun with him? Why didn't he just run? If he wanted to flee from our deputies, why not just run, right? He chose to take that gun with him. He chose to arm himself. And right now, the deputy's action is uh, the subject of an internal affairs investigation. Tony Brown at the NAACP says not good enough. He wants an outside investigation in this particular case. As for Jamal Fredericks, he is in a hospital recovering and faces serious charges when he gets out of the hospital. Reporting live from Gifford in Indian River County, I'm Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.